So now I'm going to bring the black down onto my upper lip. And again, it's kind of a reverse triangle. So I have triangular here, triangular shape here, and I'm going to bring it down straight line and then a little bit of a triangular shape onto the upper lip. So while I was doing that, I went in and did some detail work and I did use my Mayron palette and there's a couple browns on here, a lighter tan one and then a darker brown. And what I did was, I'll show you, working on details. So here, there are whiskers that are on the lion face and again, laying the foundation before I actually go in and put dots and actually draw whiskers is the coloring that creates the texture to the fur. So you'll see that I've added some brown and tan streaks along the white and fading out into the face. And then along underneath the chin, this is not pure white, there's actually streaking of brown and tan, so I've added that in. And also, I worked a little bit up above my eyebrow and there's a little bit of a darker tan in here and I'm going to actually go back in and stipple with a darker brown and almost black to create more texture yeah, along my mop brush. Video. So a mop brush and I've already sprayed my palette but I'll do it again because it looks like it's a little dry. And I'm just taking a little bit of this tan and brown, I'm dabbing in both and then I'm going to kind of work in this area. Let's zoom in a little bit more for you and just kind of create some streaking. And again, it's the illusion of fur and then some dark and light to create some depth. And uh, I'm just kind of dragging that out. Again, the pigment from the palette is almost dry, and I'm taking advantage of the texture of the brush. So just kind of bring it out. take a little bit more of that darker brown and really contour that chin area where the white is and make it pop out. So you'll see it's really dark. Downward strokes, down onto the chin. So it really makes that white pop out. So I'm seeing from my line picture that this is not all flat either, that I actually need to add a little texture. So I have that nice bright highlight and then some contouring. And then on top of that, again, I'm just going to take my mop brush and you can see I have some, some of the palette color on me. If it gets too wet, I kind of dab it off on my hand. Hand, back of hand, great tool. Keep it clean. I wash them often. <laughs> I'm going to spray my palette, dip in the tan and that darker brown, and then I'm going to add a little texture right along here. Now I need to add some texture in the middle of the forehead. Lion has a line down in the middle here, kind of on a diagonal, triangular shape, down onto the, to the nose. And so I'm, again, I'm kind of that dry brush technique again, mop brush. Uh, and you see I have brown all over my hand. Anytime the brush gets too wet, I kind of dab it off because I don't want it to be liquidy or runny. The other thing is, if you don't want to use a mop brush, you could use your stippling brush. So something like this, the MAC 188 brush could be good. You could just dip it in the color and then create your texture. I'm, I'm having a lot of success with this mop brush, so I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to start up in the middle here. And I'm just dabbing lightly. And again, my pigment is not that wet. Okay, so believe it or not, there's actually a bit of a white highlight above the nose between the black and the brown. And so again, I'm going to use the same mop brush. I'm dabbing into my white, which is just about dry, just the very tip of the brush, and then I'm dabbing it off on my hand a little bit. And then I'm just going to pat a white highlight on. Okay, so we're still working on details, and I'm just going back in now and highlighting some areas uh, with white and a smaller paintbrush. Again, very fine, fine tip brightening up some of the white that's there. And then down underneath the eye, I'm actually just drawing little strokes. So what I do is I zoomed in a little bit for you so you can see what I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to dot along where this darker brown is some whisker spots. And they don't have to be precise or perfect. In fact, they can be a little bigger. And then I'm just going to bring them out and along up here. And you'll see it's dark brown, not black. And they actually go all the way in. So Okay, so now 
I'm actually going to draw in a few whiskers, and they're actually white, and they start out here, and I'm going to try to keep control of them. On my kitty cat mask, I got a little enthusiastic and got a little out of control. So these are just going to be a few fine, wispy hairs, and again, if I had the fiber optics and some way to create them three-dimensionally, I would. Uh, again, I'm just going to use my Mayron palette and that super fine brush that I've been using. Okay, so now we're getting down to final details. I'm going to put some black liner on my waterline. I'm going to use Urban Decay Zero Pencil. I think this is super creamy and it stays on really well. I'm just going to gently do this. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put on a set of false lashes, and tonight I'm using Red Cherries 100. I don't know how they're really going to look, but I'm going to give them a shot. So there you have it. That is my look. Ow. Look, I sat on my tail. Ow. Be careful to do that. Uh, so you see, I actually did make a, a tail for my costume. This was very easy to make, uh, along with matching ears. What I did was I found a suede material that has fuzzy on the one side and smooth on the other. And so I cut these out in triangles and affixed them to the wig on the underside with huge safety pins. And for the tail, I turned the material inside out uh, after I sewed it, I hand sewed it pretty long and then flipped it inside out and then cut some curls off the back and underside of my wig so you can't see that I'm actually missing the hair and affixed it to my tail and I sat on it and it hurt and that was silly but anyways uh, that is the look let me zoom in for you it took me about three and a half hours total to do I layered with three different colors of foundation some powders uh, contouring powders and lighter highlight powders, some eyeshadow. I did line my eyes all the way around using the Mayron palette and then some black cream eyeliner by Urban Decay. I did the waterline and then I did put on a huge pair of false eyelashes just to create a little bit more of a cat eye. And then for my lips I just used the Mayron again and then highlighted with Black Knight lipstick from MAC. And then really what's going on here is texturing taking the time, drying out my brush almost, and using that dry brush technique to create texture. And I drew in my whiskers. I wish that I had something to affix to my face to make three-dimensional whiskers. I probably could have even taken something from my wig. Let me zoom back out. And then I have my, my ears and my tail. And then actually what I put on is this huge, fuzzy sweater dress that I wear and underneath of it I would actually wear long brown tights and for my feetsies I actually have this great pair of Nine West slip-on ballet slippers that I could wear and so that completes my costume I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial I'm sorry that it was so long again but I feel it's important to leave details in so you can see exactly what I'm doing and of course I didn't show you everything that I did often I would go back in and highlight and fix things and set things again because uh, the heat of my face and skin and the oil that's produced uh, makes things sheen or start to fade a little bit or, or run together so with theatrical makeup you really want to set it well and again it's because you know if you want to go out dancing or go out clubbing or or wear it all day on Halloween you want it to last so I'm Elisa this is my goddess lioness costume and tutorial and I really hope you enjoyed it please rate comment subscribe give me your feedback it means a lot to me and I hope you all have a great Halloween unfortunately I think this will be my last tutorial before Halloween I actually leave next week for California a huge conference in Monterey on my other channel degrees of E which is my vlog for degrees of shining I will be posting regularly. I've been asked to vlog for the conference and I'll be the first one doing it. So you could actually see me as a professional and see what I do for my everyday job. Uh, have a great one guys. Thanks again. Bye bye.